Hello and welcome back to another episode of NIMBY Rails. It's Joe here and today we are going to be building something new. We all like building something new, so we're going to be building something new. There you go. Since we last saw each other, I've done a little bit of tweaking. Uh, I've added some more trams in on the Manchester Piccadilly to East Didsbury section. We've got one there just going around the corner at Victoria. Uh, no, I haven't. Telling a lie. Manchester Piccadilly to Bury. Uh, the East Didsbury, of course, goes to Rochdale. Done a bit of a tweak with the old timetable as well to kind of make things a little bit more efficient. And if you have a look on the old accounting tab, you know, we're, we're, we're on Friday. We're making nearly four million. Uh, Thursday we made, that doesn't count, we did some loan fiddling there. Five million, so we're roughly on five million, six million, roughly five million a day, sometimes a bit more. So that's all jolly nice indeed. And what I have also figured out is that um, we can do some fiddling with the books here. And, uh, you know, little tip for you. And I just worked this out. I had three loans on the go. Uh, I think we took a loan last time to build the, uh, the East Didsbury to Rochdale branch off the top of my head. And then I took another loan because I needed some trams. So loan two. That was, uh, that was the 500,000 for the East Didsbury. We've already got the billion pound loan at the beginning and then you've got loan three so I took 50 million out to pay for some new trams because I needed them the compensation we were paying because of people waiting was getting that much we were actually losing money and and that's just insane and obviously we were going to go bust otherwise so I took 50 million pound loan bought some more trams and then I've paid that off now loan one is a billion pounds you all start with that over five years so you're paying 18.871 million per month and that's a lot it's quite difficult early on to even make 18.871 million a month so what we're going to do is we're going to take out another loan of a billion over 10 years instead of five now the reason i'm doing that is that we'll only be paying 10 million 10 million a month instead of 18 million and then we can just pay that back early so we're not paying 18 million. So that's essentially saving us 18 million, uh, 8 million a month. It's too many millions, isn't it, really? But that's saving us 8 million a month. Yeah, I know we're going to still have to pay the money back at some point, but it means earlier on you, you're making a bit more money, you can build more things, you make money faster, etc. etc. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building a new. I call it a regional line. I mean, we've, we've got our Metrolink. The Metrolink is actually one of the best earners. Uh, that's why we put the Rochdale branch in. It's also a brilliant earner. But I thought today we could put in some more trains. Because everybody loves trains, don't they? Uh, we are going to be going from Manchester. Should we go from Piccadilly? Do you know what? I think we should go from Piccadilly. Uh, yes, jolly good. Uh, Piccadilly to... Yeah. I wasn't going to go from Piccadilly, to be perfectly honest with you. But we're going from Piccadilly. There we go. Can we uh, can, can we shove you in about there? If we can get 144 metres, because that's obviously the length, we'll go for 150. There we go. That solved our platform curvature problems. Obviously, it would normally be down here, but we'll just pop it further up. Jolly nice indeed. Uh, we're coming down, obviously, here to Oxford Road. And Oxford Road station's about here, so we'll pop you in. Nope. It needs to be on a viaduct, doesn't it? Oh, I don't want to do a station on a viaduct. That's going to cost a stupid amount of money. But you're just going to have to do it, aren't you? Uh, let's have a look. How much is it going to cost us on a viaduct just across the city? Because obviously it is on a viaduct, so that's 32 million. What about if we put it on ground level? Uh, you can't over that bit of river. Put it on ground level. And we're going to need some overpasses. Uh, there we go. Pop you in there. Bit of an overpass going in. So 32 million is the amount to beat. 25 million sold. Uh, I know that obviously it should be on a viaduct, but this is cheaper. We haven't got a massive amount to play with. Now, Dean's Gate's a bit of a difficult one, and I don't know how we're going to get round this, to be honest with you. Because obviously there is a station at Dean's Gate. But because they're, you know, they're, they're connected by a walkway, normally that's an interchange, and, and they would interchange there. Uh, it's, it's bicycle 
nope. Uh, we'll, we'll change that to Dean's Gate. So obviously they're not going to interact with each other, and in fact it's half the catchment bubble, which is a bit of a shame. That's not Dog Bowl either. Manchester Oxford Road. There we go. So I don't know if maybe we're going to tweak that, move it. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with that, to be honest with you. But uh, that's obviously how it is in real life. Maybe I'll change it at a later date. Or maybe we'll just have, you know, it, it like that. There, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's a good thing about this game. You can always come back and tweak it later. Uh, we're going up to Salford Crescent. Pop a uh, 150 metres there. And then we're going to be continuing up to Preston today via Bolton. So it's quite a, a sizable length of track. Uh, and then we can extend our airport line up to... Because the airport line is actually really overcrowded at the minute. We, we do need to extend it up. Oh, we need to put more trains on the airport line, definitely. But obviously there's the airport to Blackpool services. And eventually this will run through to Blackpool. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed that's going to go very well. We need a station at Clifton. I have actually kind of... Well, I've built this route already to see if it'll work. Uh, about 100 metres. Clifton, there we go. Uh, we need... Where's Kersley? Kersley's about there. Where are you? There's a station around here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Kersley is about there. And uh, there we go. Farmworth's about here, just after Farmworth Tunnel. Um, Farmworth Tunnel is, uh, is just under there. It's actually a really narrow bar on the tunnel. When you go through it 100 miles an hour, your ears tend to pop. It's, uh, it's not particularly pleasant. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know when you're in Farmworth Tunnel. We've got Bolton here, uh, so it's going to be quite a big station, quite a long platform in Bolton. About 150 metres, do you reckon? I reckon that's absolutely fine. Uh, so then Bolton, we, we come under. It's kind of a tunnel -y kind of affair here. Out of Bolton this way. And then we go up to, what's, uh, what's here? Lost Stock. Lost Stock there. If we build the station over this road, we'll save ourselves an overpass. Is that cheating? Nah, I don't know. There's also the line that goes off to Wigan down here, but that doesn't actually have platforms on it. So if you want to go from Lostock to Wigan, you have to go down into Bolton and then back out again. Obscene, isn't it, really? You've got uh, Horwich Parkway Station there. We'll pop that at 150 metres. Uh, and that is where the Bolton Arena and the Middlebrook Shopping Centre is. My other half actually lives uh, round here in Horwich, or lived uh, and, uh, and then we moved in together, and that was nice. Ah, oh, sweet, nice. Uh, but actually just used to live uh, on this road here named Black Rod. Technically classed as Horridge, but, but near Black Rod. Black Rod's uh, this little town here. Uh, but yes, continuing up the valley, we've got Adlington. That's about here. Uh, go on, 100 metres. So the stations I'm putting at 100 metres is going to be where our little kind of terrible stopping trains stop. And then uh, the more express trains are going to stop where it's 150 metres. And I'm basing, of course, the 150 metres on the length of a 6 car 185. Because uh, although we don't have them on this game, class 185s did used to do this route up to, uh, to Preston and Blackpool. And, of course, Barrow in Furness slash Furness and, uh, and Windermere. Uh, about 100 metres at Leyland there. And straight across into Preston. Where's Preston? Ah, it's over the bridge. We've got Skew Bridge that goes over there. That's, uh, that's quite a sizable... Uh, quite a sizable affair. Preston, about 300 metres, would you say? How long's a Pendolino? I don't know how long a Pendolino is. 300 metres will suffice. And it's actually got the road. There's kind of a road that comes down between the platforms. And, uh, and, and that's on there. So that's easy to use as a little reference point. Let's just go through and name our stations. I also, just, just uh, realising, I put trams on. Uh, the, the East Didsbury Rochdale line. I said, oh, I'll, I'll probably wait until next time and I'll show you putting trams on. But, uh, yeah, about that, uh, it, it, you know, I needed to make some more money. Otherwise, uh, uh, Bookshop Parkway. Yeah, I needed to make some more money because I just didn't have any money to do, you know, this video with. Adlington, 
We'll change it to Adlington Lanx, because it is called Adlington Lanx. Is it? Oh, what's it got? We'll just call it Adlington. It's fine. Because there is another Adlington station in Cheshire. And there actually used to be a train, just the one of the day, that used to go from, uh, from Stoke-on-Trent up to Blackpool. And that actually stopped at Adlington, Cheshire and Adlington, uh, Lancashire. Yeah, there you go. You didn't need to know that. You probably didn't want to know that, but you know that now. Uh, I think they've changed it now. I think the early Blackpool comes from... Uh, comes from crew. Don't hold me to that though, because uh, cause I, oh, I don't know, I pay very little attention to it. Uh, lost stock, lost stick, lost stock, there we go, thank you, and round to Bolton. Bolton, down to Moses Gate, that's named appropriately. Uh, Farmers, and then what are you? You're Kersley, aren't you? Kersley. And Clifton. Nothing stops at Clifton. It's, uh, well, that's, that's not true. Things do stop at Clifton or it wouldn't have a station. But it's only, uh, it's a very infrequent service to Clifton. Salford Crescent. Thank you. And of course at Salford Crescent the line does split. We go round to Salford Central which is about here and then into Victoria. Uh, so I, I plan to have the kind of fast services stopping at, you know, going by Piccadilly as they do, and then the stopping services that can come round from Victoria. So, but even then, the, the stopping services from Victoria just go Salford Crescent, Bolton. They miss out all these little places. I think the, uh, I think maybe the Colnes, which goes up there, or the Darwins, or Blackburns, I don't know. I think they stop at these little shacks. But, uh, but yeah, our, our fast Prestons certainly shall not be doing so. Now, one we need to do here, we've got lots of little yellow dots, which means putting a junction in is going to be an absolute pain in the proverbial. Or maybe it's not. Ah, there you go, you were expecting it to be harder work than that. Let's get some of that track in. What I have noticed is if you build lots of little sections of track like that, making a junction is a pain, because it, it just... It won't give you, uh, you know, the. it says this is too close to the next bit of track. It is very annoying. Uh, and then coming out, we'll just come, can we can we just link the two of you? There we go. Nice and straightforward. Now, how are we getting? Let's come down from Salford Crescent. Oh, you're letting me have a flyover. That's very good of you. So this, of course, comes down here. We'll, we'll pop you as a... As a Bridge. Come round. You, you don't need to be high speed because this is not a high speed line. And of course this joins uh, at uh, something bridge. Water Street even. Water Street Junction. This joins the line from Liverpool which comes down through Eccles. And obviously we will be putting that in at some stage. Ooh, exciting. And you're going to bend round here. Over a bit of up. Thank you. Yep. Find up, thank you. And this is where the triangle for the uh, the that goes round to Victoria up there, and then the odd sub curve, odd sub chord, uh, comes down here. Now you go along there on a viaduct, and then can can we go under the tram? No, I don't want to go over the tram. I know it goes over the tram in real, uh, it goes under the tram, sorry, in real life, and uh, it doesn't seem that I'll be able to do that without deleting the tram. So maybe I'll I'll fix that at a later date. Maybe I won't. That's, uh, you know, the suspense of this series. It will keep you in suspense. Ooh, what's he going to do next? And of course we want to put in... Is, is that going to let us put in a junction there? No, it's not. Oh, go on. For heaven's sake. Because obviously we need to... Uh, no. No, 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 no. Thank you. Bit of a... Right, bring you down off that viaduct. Straight line. There. Uh, there we go, because that is the line that's going to go off to Warrington down, uh, down, down here. Splendid. Right, Deansgate, get it linked up. I 
I don't think many of our uh, our superior trains are going to stop at Dean's Gate, to be perfectly honest with you. Does it actually come round this far? I, I don't know if it does, you know. I think it, I think it kind of goes more across here. Ooh. No, yeah, you see, I think that it's going to come more, more this trajectory, because at Dean's Gate you do bend round to the right. So I reckon we're gonna we're gonna kind of go across. There we go. That's better. In fact, I think that that's exactly where it comes across. Ooh, you're you're a bit of a sharp corner, aren't you? Should we should we just that better? Yeah, Seventy four. Oh well, they normally only do about fifteen miles an hour around there anyway. It's a very congested section of track that one for Manchester. We're coming up from Salford Crescent, what's the bill like? Oh, 113 million. Ah, we can cope with that. Now, the line speed up this particular section of track... Hang on, where's the... Where's the whatchamacallit god? Ah, right, no, you, you're still on track. Ah, if you... Uh, if you do pardon the pun there. And coming up here, between... Uh, Salford Crescent and Clifton... Obviously, I, uh, I do work trains up here. And there's somebody who lives kind of around here, in a block of apartments, and their window is hanging off the frame. Can you believe it? That The actual window, the hinges, it's one of those where it's hinged at the top and opens outwards. You know, the sort that are banned in places where people are likely to jump out of them. Um, but yeah, one of the hinges is broken and the window is hanging off at a diagonal. You know, and I actually first started working over that route, or this route, in uh, December 2018, and it's now January 2021, and their window is still hanging off, which I just think is, you know, sort it out. You know, even if you've got no sense of personal pride, why should us lot going past on the train have to look at your shoddy window? And yes, I do hope if you, if you are, you know, whoever lives there is actually watching this video. Sort it out, it's an eyesore. We go past lots of eyesores on the railway. We don't need any more. Thank you very much. 160 kilometres is fine, because that's obviously 100 miles an hour. If we can go faster, then splendid. But, uh, you know... Oh, hang on. So we'll pop you in there. A bit of four for some tunnel. Farm with tunnel. There we go. That's it. Still above 160, so I'm happy. Uh, bring you straight up there. Keep going. Oh, Moses Gate. No, oh, are you are you actually not gonna let us do that? Oh, fair dues. If you insist, no, you you're gonna do a hundred over there. You're gonna do a hundred. Yeah, you didn't think you were. But there we go. Hundred miles per hour. Thank you. Up through. Uh, where was that? Was that was that Kersley? Was that? No, we've been past Farnworth, so that's obviously Moses Gate. And then we're just straight into Bolton now. Bought a sofa from somewhere around here. There you see. Should really be charging, shouldn't I, for recommending sofa shops? So this is going to be a tunnel. No, it's not. It's not a tunnel. It is a tunnel. It's, well, it's not actually a tunnel. It's it's kind of... This is a bridge over the top, but we don't seem to be able to replicate that, so uh, we're going to have to tunnel it. To about... Hang on, where's the railway? So the railway comes out there. That'll do. So around here you've got the Bolton bus station. It's like an interchange sort of affair. It's a shame that they don't have uh, they don't have buses on this. You know, even on train fever they have buses, so you, you can't use the... Oh, well, it's NIMBY rails, not NIMBY tyres. Yeah, I get that. But it'd be nice if the, the catchment area is kind of affected... Or, you know, that the buses were a thing. Or even if there were just buses running around on the map anyway, and, and you could build bus stations for them to link in with. Right, there we go. Link up with our stock. Thank you. I'd also, I, I do want the catchment bubbles to overlap. You know, it's like, obviously, Market Street's got bugger all there. But if you lived here, on this line, you might go to either. Or if you lived here, and you were, you know, you might go to Market Street. You just might. I think the catchment bubbles should overlap rather than not intersect at all. Uh, right, where are we? So we've built a lost stock. Hmm. 
There we go. I mean, that's technically an underpass at Horwich Parkway, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to make me viaduct, aren't you? You're not going to give me that? Nope. So that's the M61. Over the M61. It actually goes under the M61, but we are cost-cutting. We are saving money. So today, it is going under. Uh, oh, no, it's not. No, you, you, it's not. Trust me, it's not. It's just not. How on earth are we getting to Adlington? The uh, the kind of track bit which shows you where the track goes has kind of disappeared on us. So we're uh, we're just making it up. I don't know if it actually kind of wiggles like that, but for uh, for the purpose of today, it is now wiggling. Come on, give me 160. That's fine. And uh, there's the Adlington through Adlington. Adlington is actually uh, there's a, there's a fantastic pet shop in uh, in Adlington. And uh, it's where they, they specialise in uh, parrots. And obviously, if you've uh, if you've watched my videos before, you will know that I have uh, parrots. So I spend a lot of time in that shop. I don't know why, because I'm pretty convinced that both of them absolutely hate me. Uh, but, yeah, that seem to have that effect on animals. They, they just dislike me. That's why I like computers. I know where I am with computers. Me and computers are, uh, are, are, you know, we get along. Now, through Chorley, I'm pretty sure the line speed drops a bit, so 139 kilometres an hour is acceptable. Well, can we can we get 100? 160. There we go. I'm saying, can we get 100? I, I mean, can we get 100 miles an hour, of course? And if we can avoid you so we don't have to put an overpass in, that's sensational. Obviously, coming uh, into Charlie down here, you've got Charlie Morrison's about here. Had uh, many a Morrison's breakfast in there. Yeah, I, I do like making... I mean, this isn't my local line. I, I purely know this much about this area of the world uh, because of my other half. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to recreate lines that you actually know. And, uh, you know, in this... I don't know if you know if you've got NIMBY rails or not. If you haven't got NIMBY rails, go out and get it, it for twelve quid. It might be more than that, to be honest with you, because uh, the twelve pound is a ten percent off deal in the first week. But even for thirteen pound, you know the the amount of hours. I mean, I've I've spent what fifty hours on this so far. Maybe not an entire fifty hours of playing, because I've spent a lot of time just sat with it on fast forward, trying to make a bit of money. But uh, you know. 13 quid for 50 hours, it's, it's it's fairly cheap, isn't it? Come on, keep going up through Lostock Hall. We will be putting a station in at Lostock Hall, because as you can see here, this this kind of a curve here. The line goes over the top, and that's what runs off, you know, on your Blackpool to York services. Uh, but then it joins in, it joins in uh, further down. Kind of like a, a flying junction. And then the slow lines run up on the left. So these that we're building now are technically the fast lines. That's what you like, so your Voyagers and your Pendolinos and your Trans Pennine Expresses uh, run over. Now we've got the Skew Bridge there. We'll build you into Preston. Now the platform we would normally be using is over here for the Blackpool. But for today, you can use that platform right there. 244 million, Christ alive. Well, it needs to be done, doesn't it? So... What are we going to be doing? So we're going into the finances. Loan one of three. Pay back a, a billion. So the new loan, we're going to take out two billion. Not 200 billion, because the bank aren't going to approve you that. So we're going to be paying back 20 million. Just over 20 million per month. Now, I can afford, if we look on the accounting tab, on month. Uh, where's the income? Oh, no, that's April. We're only just in April. But if you look in March... We made 53 million, even after we paid back 37 million. So, you know, we, we can afford 18 million a month, so we can afford 20 million a month. That's how I'm, that's how I'm working. So over 10 years, take a loan. Oh, look at that money. Right, quick, jump in, pay that back. And uh, where's loan one? Can we, we can't afford to pay that back, can we? I quite like to pay that back early, but no. Right, build the blueprints before you change your mind. Way there we go. So we have built that line there. Oh, dearie me, I've come over all warm. Right, pause the game because 
we need to we need to essentially delete this line right delete selected line what are our trains doing Did, have we just deleted the, have I just deleted the trains no oh hang on they're on the Victoria uh, all right yeah the two trains have just reverted to being spare that's fine I thought for a second because you don't get any money if you sell your trains or if you delete your trains don't get any money I know that's scandalous same as if you delete track you do not get any money back on it. So uh, unless you absolutely have to delete some track, don't do it. So Manchester Airport to Preston. We're going to just put MIA-PRE so it shows up. What's our ticket price? Six base and then £2 per kilometre. Yeah, that's extortionate, isn't it? But uh, this is a business, not a charity, and I need to make some money. So there. Right. Um, yes, so we are going to have our first stop as Picard... No, 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 that's that's just ludicrous. First stop, Airport, Hill Green, Maldith Road. No, Hill Green, Gatley. It's not Maldith Road, you imbecile. East Didsbury, Benage, uh, Maldith Road, and into Piccadilly. But Piccadilly, platform 14. Stopping at Oxford Road, because everything does. Not stopping at Deansgate, stopping at Salford Crescent, and then non-stop to Bolton. We'll put these sl these little stations in, but I want this to kind of be a, a quick regional line. Horwich Parkway, not Blackrod, not Adlington, Chorley. Oh, hang on, it says that it can't find a path. That means you've cocked up. Never mind, not Bookshaw Parkway. Uh, not Leyland. Next stop, Preston. There we go. Back down, please, to Chorley. And uh, and Horwich Parkway. Nope, that's Blackrod. Horwich Parkway. And uh, that's not Bolton. Bolton. Uh, where are you now? Salford Crescent. Thank you. Manchester Oxford Road. Manchester Piccadilly. And uh, Maldith Road. Burnage. East Didsbury, Gatley, Hill Green, Epple. Okay, so it's Horwich Parkway to Chorley that we are not finding a route. It's really irritating, but uh, yeah, we, we, you've obviously just gone a bit quick and you've, you've missed a bit of track out. So we'll uh, just scour across there. What's, what's that looking like? That's all linked up. Oh dear, this uh, gives you motion to the sickness, wouldn't it? Oh, I hate it when you cock things up. Why can't you just do it right first time? It all looks fairly alright. Why can't it just... Ah, there you go. But you built the track, you idiot, so now that's going to cost money. Oh, dear. Oh, can, can I link them together? Can I, can I drag them? Oh, why have you done that? Right. Delete that bit of track. Yep, doesn't cost or doesn't gain us any money, which is really irritating. Click on. There we go. Have you linked up now? Yes, you have. Jolly good. Now, one thing as well, if, if we, uh, I mean, how fast do we want to be going? We want to, we'll put a uh, 120. Oh, hang on. Things have changed. It's changed. There was an update just before I started playing this. And this is different. Why is this different? Ah, it's all different. Oh, dear me. Right, so, leaving the airport, I would like uh, you to wait 15 minutes, please. This is going to be an every 15 minute service. And then up at Preston, I would like you to wait. See, I've not been bothering with this because it makes them wait 15 minutes or keep apart 15 minutes at every stop. And that can cause congestion. So we just want it at the terminus points, waiting 15 minutes. And then where's Preston? Preston is there, again, 15 minutes for the return. So they're actually not going to be spacing out between Preston and Airport, but if one runs a bit late, the one behind will wait at Preston. How long is it going to take to get round? Uh, so that's going to take... So it's, it's going to... Oh, what? what you, you, two... 
Right, yeah, that that's all well and good. Ah, right, okay, so two hours and four minutes to do the full round trip. Is that what you're telling me? I think that's what you're telling me. So I need nine trains, roughly, give or take. So I've got two, I need another seven. Uh, what trains have I got? How many carriages have they got? 588. Two cars, so they're only four car. Okay. Uh, 588, so I need... Oh my, why is the brain not working? You've got two. There we go. Got two. Thank you. Oh, hang on. No, they can fit 744 on. I've got different sized trains. What What on earth's that about? Five... Oh, no. Right, okay. This is Right, three cars in dimension. That's fine. So these are all five car units. So I want seven five car units. Oh, no. Just, just click, click clone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, cars, three. Oh, you can afford that. They're, they're quite cheap, the KU whatchamacallums. That's fine. I want them white, and uh, I would like them, please, to be... Uh, well, we'll have, we'll have them. So they're nice and blue. Don't use the line colour, because it really annoys me when they come off line at night and they all change colour. There we go. They can be dark blue. And uh, then I want, I want these to be blue as well. White, don't use that. Pick a colour. Dark blue. There. It's not the same. I want the decal to be different as well. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. Thank you. Pick a decal. Yes, that one. This colour. Yep. And then be dark blue. Be, just be dark blue like the rest of them. There you go. Where are the rest of my trains I've just bought? Did I actually buy them? Did I buy them? No, I didn't. Right. Purchase. Oh, dear me, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, whew. dear me, indeed. Right, so 15 minutes. They can get down to the airport. So we will have, uh, oh, dear me, right, which trains am I actually running? So those two, right, we want to, uh, to delete all of the slots. I want you to, at four or five o'clock in the morning, yeah, five o'clock in the morning. Nope, that's making it earlier. So here, pick a depot. Stay in the depot overnight. Yes. Where's the depot now? There it is, at Ardwick. Nope, that's a station. Long site, long site. There we go. Uh, and then run the Manchester Airport to Preston service. And I would like you to start, please, from Piccadilly B. Then new at night. You can then go back to the depot at 11 o'clock. There we are. Depot, 11 o'clock. Copy the day, and if we can please, make it so tomorrow. Has that worked? Yes, it has. Oh, that's always nice. Right, so paste it all week. So 5 a.m. Yep, following that so far. Jolly good. Train number two. Delete everything, paste. We want you to come out at 5.15. 15 minutes behind, because it's an every 15 minute frequency. Yep, got that. Piccadilly B. Copy. Paste all week. This is a fairly, you know, repetitive thing. 5.30. Paste all week. 5.45, yep, yeah, paste all week. You, you see what I'm doing here? It's a fairly repetitive thing, like I say, but it's making sure that our trains come out the depot nice and staggered. That's not what I wanted you to do. 6 a.m., paste, 6.15, copy, paste. 6.30, copy, paste. Nice and straightforward. Until they add another form of timetable in and that's a little more in-depth, this will just have to do. So it means that they're doing that short little bit to the airport first. Jolly good. Now this last one, I want this to come out at 5am. Yep, copy, paste, but instead of going down to the airport, I want this one to just come out into Piccadilly going towards Preston. Do you see what I mean? So that there's there's one going out towards Preston. So it's kind of one going both ways. Yeah, that's fine. 
That's fine. Are, are you going to work then? Let's let's get some some timing on. Are we where where are we appearing, folks? Are we are we appearing down here? No, nope, where are we? Are we just at the airport? Where where are our new trains? Ah, they're all they've all just appeared at Piccadilly rather than coming out of the depot. So there we go. I uh, oh wow, it's uh, it's a busy one. This bloody hell. Manchester Airport down to Preston. Full. How's the one behind? Slow them down. There we go. Ah, that's half full. Well, half empty, depending on your outlook on life. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's our next expansion on NIMBY Rails. And we can even pay that stupid loan back early. So we've only got one loan out of the three left. Uh, so there we go. Hopefully, this is going to earn us some money. Until, uh, well, between now and next time, I'm going to obviously do some tweaking. And uh, yes, make sure that you click like on the video if you did enjoy this video. Where do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments. I don't always manage to get back to you just because of time constraints, but I promise you I do read every comment. Uh, and I do, you know, take things on board. Someone mentioned Sheffield Super Trams. We're going to put them in. Someone mentioned Liverpool. Don't you worry. It's going to happen. Budget constraint, of course. Or budget depending. But yeah, if you're enjoying the series, make sure you click the subscribe button. And of course, as always, until next time, cheerio and, uh, and goodbye for now.